and I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? Who is worthy to open the seals that unleash all of eternity? We want you to know the goodness and kindness of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the one who saves sinners from their sins, not just from the penalty of their sins, but also from the bondage and tyranny of their sins. We come out here because one of the best things that God can do is send people to share his truth with you. And that's why me and my friends have come out here tonight. You see, all of us are sinners and fall short of the glory of God, and we need His righteousness, and Jesus Christ is that righteousness. We need the righteousness of God to enter into heaven, and none of us can achieve that righteousness. You say, well, maybe if I do some more good deeds, or maybe if I try to change my life around, or maybe if I try to, to work my way up to heaven. No, my friend, those are self-righteous deeds that will not save you. See, the only way to be saved is to turn from your sin and trust in Jesus Christ alone, believing that Jesus Christ is God incarnate and that he actually fulfilled the law and obeyed the law perfectly. And then he gave his life up, not only fulfilled our righteousness, not as totally perfect, but he gave his life up as a sacrifice for our sins. He gave his life up and when he was on the cross, yes, he was beaten and he was torn apart by men, but God the Father poured out his wrath his wrath for our sin upon Jesus. But Jesus Christ came to set the sinner free. Jesus Christ came to set the captive free. He says that, come all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There are many of you out here tonight that are weary, that are heavy laden. You are living in the guilt of your sin. But Jesus Christ said, come to me, and I will give you rest. The only way that you're going to find rest and forgiveness for your sins is in Christ and what He has done and what He has accomplished. The Bible tells us that He who knew no sin, Jesus, became sin for us so that we could become the righteousness of God. How do we receive the righteousness of God? We need to believe by faith in Jesus Christ alone.